Hey, what's going on everybody? Wes here with Consumers Authority. Today is an awesome day because I just got my live fish in the mail from Aquahuna. It says here on the box, live tropical fish. I ordered some golden white cloud minnows that were gonna go in this 29 gallon, but I've recently upgraded it to a 37. So this is my first time ever ordering live fish. I've heard a lot of great things about this company. They have flat rate shipping of $12.99. And I'm actually located here in North Carolina. Um, so this is shipping all the way from Washington. So this will be a true test of their shipping abilities. But all you really have to do is go to their website and look up any fish that you like. Here are the gold and white clouds that I purchased. I got a 12 pack for $20. But these will be perfect for me since I'm a beginning fish keeper and they don't require a heater. So that's something I don't have on my tank right now. But either way anything that you need looks like they've got on their website they've got snails fish all kinds of interesting things that you can buy and they do offer two-day shipping so we'll go ahead and place my order and sure enough here in the mail two days later i've got my live fish so we're going to go ahead and unbox them and i'll let you see exactly what i see as i got it i didn't do any kind of pre-unboxing we're just going to open it right up here and the first thing we see is a little letter from aquahuna and it's got their contact information and it looks like they're dead on arrival policy in case any of the fish or shrimp don't make it alive. But I'll have to say they've got it packed up really nicely. Here's a little double bagged ice pack and these right here is the fish. So it looks like they've also got it bagged up, double bagged, maybe even triple bagged. And gosh, these things are tiny. Again, these are golden white cloud minnows and they're a lot smaller than I expected, but still very cool. They'll, uh, they're adolescents, so they'll definitely grow a little bit more. And what I'm gonna do right now is just transfer them into a bucket of tank water that I pulled out, and we're gonna let these things float in here for about 20 minutes. And what that's gonna do is slowly get the temperature that's inside the shipping bag to the temperature that's gonna be inside the tank and what's inside the bucket currently, since we just pulled that out, and that's gonna reduce the shock on the fish themselves. So now that we've got the fish acclimated, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the top off this and let some of this water be seeping into the bag and hopefully get all these fish uh, into the bucket. I also wanna double check the bag, make sure that there's not one stuck in there because these things are super tiny. You can really barely even see them here in the bucket. They look pretty funny. But what I'm gonna do is go ahead and net them in. I've already got a few in the tank, so I'm just gonna to have to get a few out of the bucket at a time and just kind of slowly release them into the tank. I'm trying to let this guy swim out of the net. Just let him find his own way and then we'll go back for some more but i'll have to say they look really cool already on uh, this tank was really put together well the black background makes them pop again i've got some other videos on that as, as far as how i set this whole tank up so i'm super excited to finally get some fish in there again these things are really tiny but they're super cool i didn't want to have an overcrowded tank so i think these are going to be a perfect addition even after just getting them into the tank they began to eat some flake food and they didn't seem very shy whatsoever and the type of food I'm using for these are the fluval bug bites. That's the flake formula. And I've got some freeze dried brine shrimp. I may try some different things in the future. I've heard they like some shelled peas, mosquito larvae, those types of things. But I really like these fish just to kind of get a feel of how small they really are. Here's a close up of them. And then we'll zoom out on the whole tank and you can see just how small they are. But again, it's really cool. I didn't want an overcrowded tank. I am planning on adding some red cherry shrimp in the near future. I'm also gonna have a couple of snails in there. And I may add different fish in the future. I'm not sure. I'm gonna take it really slow. Let the, uh, the bio filter uh, catch up to having fish in there. And then hopefully once I get the cherry shrimp in, they'll help to clean up any food and debris that might make its way to the bottom of the tank. But again, this is the only transaction that I've had with Aquahuna, even though it's a good one. So don't take my word for it. Just give them a try if you're looking to order some live fish. If you have any questions about the tank or the setup I've got, definitely leave those in the comments below because without you, there wouldn't be a channel. Um, but I'll be releasing some new videos here in the near future. But until then, I really appreciate you guys tuning in and I will see you next time. All right, peace.